All right, everything's been working fine, but we're just for fun, we're going to test our HDMI cable we got. So this is the Zeskit 8K HDR HDMI 2.1. And here's a, a quick diagram that shows the difference between the different levels of HDI. So I was holding out for HDMI 2.1 because I just didn't want to have any problems with everything working the way it's supposed to and for future proofing. So you can see the throughput is quite a bit higher for 2.1. So I wanted to buy a certified cable, but I couldn't find any. The certification regime apparently has only come out recently, and there's no I couldn't find any reliable certified cable that I thought was worth buying. So, so we're going to test it. Like I said, everything's been working fine anyway, but we're going to test it. So we're going to use this uh, HDMI Diagnostics and Troubleshooting Guide. This is for a, a different receiver. So some of this information here is not what we need, but the basic things are, like how to hook up the cable. So we need to hook up the cable between the monitor and HDMI 1, which is the cable satellite connection. So over here, it's still in the monitor selection on this side. I took it off the TV and plugged it in over on the, net, on the uh, HDMI 1. It's upside down, but you can figure it out. All right, so we'll put this back in the cabinet and turn it on, and then we'll figure out. Show you, I'll show you how to get into HDMI testing mode. All right, so the tricky part on these receivers is that you don't know. Well, you have to figure out what button combination puts you into the diagnostic mode. So, someone posted. I've been able to find a document for this, but someone posted in one of the ABS forums that you push the back button and up arrow simultaneously for three seconds, and it should go into HDMI diagnostic mode. So let's try that. Yep, there we go. Bingo. So it's doing a hardware check. Make sure everything's okay. All right, so there's a bunch of different tests here. We want test four, which is the cable test. So we'll press that, okay. Connect the cable, I did that already. Start testing. Up, oh, cable test fail. That's not good. <laughs> Let's see, let's try retry. Hmm. Okay, I'll have to figure out something else here. Maybe we hooked it up wrong. All right, so that didn't work. So I'm just thinking maybe we should be using the 8K output, or rather input, <clears throat> because we're trying to test an 8K uh, uh, HDMI connection. So I think this this is the only HDMI 2 connection on the back of the receiver. So if we're going to test, uh, besides this, besides these, of course. So um, I think we, we want to test, uh, we'll try it on number 7 versus the monitor 1, which is the eARC port. So let's see if it works now. All right, so we powered it back on. We're going to push back and up arrow simultaneously. Three seconds. Back in HDMI diagnostics, it's going to do the hardware check. And we're going to go down to cable test. Try it again. Connect the cable, yep. Did I already press start now? Oh, it's taking longer, that's good. It passed, all right. So that was the secret. We had to put it in the 8K uh, slot, which of course makes sense. Let's see what it says as far as passing. Yeah, so 8K, 40 gigabits per second, so. Okay, so unlike this manual, which shows us putting it into Again, this is for an old receiver, so to, and I couldn't find the, the current receiver. Uh, it says put it in uh, monitor 1 and HDMI 1 for the 4700. I'm assuming all the rest of the new uh, dead-end receivers for this year, you got to put it in the H HDMI 7, which is the 8K. So that makes perfect sense. All right, so our cable's working. We thought it was working. Uh, I'm assuming this test only tests 40 gigabits per second because that's one of the limitations of these receivers is they are only really doing 40 gigabits per second for um, HDMI 2.1. And the explanation I've heard is that because there's no monitors, even 8K monitors that can handle, that actually need 48 gigabits per second to do the maximum picture. 
with all the different colors and so forth. So 48 is actually enough. And that's why LG this year uh, with the C10 and the, and the other, uh, and I guess the E10 or whatever, uh, is uh, only supporting 40 gigabits per second on the TVs for the same reason. So, All right, so that's good. So this this uh, uh, cable should work. I'm still going to try to buy a certified cable when I get my Xbox. If there's one available, I, mean, I, I would just feel better buying a certified cable. So, All right, Beta Cindy signing out. If you like this video and helped you, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe, and I'll come out, I'm going to be coming out with at least one more video on the home theater system in the next week or so, and then it'll be unless something comes up, I won't be doing anything until the Xbox. Signing off.